All right, let's go on. This one's called Betty Ann Bling wants special police unit to take on crimes against children. The library group here, the Children's Cry, has called for the establishment of a special police unit for tackling crimes against children. Quote to quote, we've been advocating this for years, but with the current epidemic of heinous crimes against Jamaican children, it's even more urgently need than ever today, said so child advocate and here the Children's Cry founder Betty Ann Bling. Quote to quote, our nation is also in urgent need of a dedicated missing children's unit and in the the JCF, given the severity of the problem, had a billion news release. I do fully agree with that, 100%. She said, she said more than 120 children, on an average, are reported missing every month. We are talking about that we are talking about a team with extensive knowledge and grasp of the frightening dynamics of the challenge, from community pedophiles to national and international traffickers. I do agree with that. I do agree with a lot of the missing children and there's some missing adults as well. A lot of it has to do with human trafficking inside and outside the country. All right. From poor parenting skills to the hundreds of families which are in crisis. A team which also has the skills and compassion to deal with children, especially those who have been traumatized by violent criminals, someone whom the children knew and trusted. I agreed, agreed, and agreed. This team also should be proactive in addressing the problem of children who run away from home. It's a common health fallacy that the problem of missing children is not such a great crisis because many children are only runaways. The fact is the whole challenge of runaway children should be seen as a red flag in itself. A child who runs away from home is, a, is one who is in crisis. His or, his or her family is in crisis and by extension, the very social fab fabric of our nation is in crisis when you have hundreds of our youngsters running away. This is, a, this is not... And, also, and this is not an also ran pro problem. It is a major challenge that needs to be addressed without delay. Quote to quote, we're calling for the implementation of a rigorous tracking system for convic convicted sex offenders who have been released from prison both here and abroad. It's reported that in the media that one of the persons in custody for the recent murder, 11 year old girl Hannibal, I mentioned that online, is a deportee. And yes, this is why I get on the, uh, the gov current government for not. Not vetting these deport the people they deport, or not informing the people who the who public of what the crimes these people have been charged with. But I digress. This is not a new call, and this is we want to raise concerns about the safety of such offenders in the current violence prone atmosphere in this country. Or such a registry of convicted sex offenders, even if not to not open to the general public, should be definitely be available to crit to call groups that work with children, which help guard against the uninformed hiring of such perverts as teachers. Counselors, church workers, etc. Blaine said in the release yesterday, Amen and Amen. The country, she said, can continue to celebrate child the type of violence against children. Something must be done. Blaine and her team, and her team at here, the Children's Cry operate a dynamic combination of preventative and remedial programs, a strong child advocacy outreach, child safety instructions in school, schools, parent, parenting education, support from families of missing children and formerly missing children. Telephone and in-home counseling, strategic family support, local and international networking on missing children and other critical child family issues. Over the years, valuable support has come from Yellow, which supports the Missing Children Support Program, Supreme Ventures Limited, sponsors of the Missing Children's Family and Community Social Work Program, LASCO, Sandals Foundation, the British High Commission, Flow and Digital. I agree with basically everything Betty and Blaine said, which is, and these are truisms, but one thing I would worry that she, she should have added that they should need to have um, push new hard laws. They should be pushing laws for harsher punishments <clears throat> against those who who commit crimes against children. All right, they need to be more of a, a a very direct punishment mechanism for those who harm children. That's one of the things that's going to deter a lot of it from happening. When these pedophiles, rapists, abusers know that they're going to be very direct, um, blatant consequences for harming children, that they're going to be hunted down and struck down and dealt with accordingly, then a lot of that is going to go down. Because the thing is, that's why a lot of the bulls, a lot of these, um, these monsters here in Jamaica to, to do stuff. Because... A lot of them figure that, A, we're never going to get caught. Even if we're caught, we're not going to get punished because, A, we have some idiot policemen or idiot judges who are going to either give them a joke sentence or let them go so they can go back to communities and hurt other people. All right. And you have like a joke of a justice system that doesn't believe in who believe, whoever, whoever's pecking order that 
believes that if you're an ordinary Jamaican citizen, we don't give a damn what happens to you. Now, let these have been some up to the children of some uptoners um, who get harmed or whatever, and see how quickly they're going to put preventative measures because they know it's sad. People who can't change it who are in the system, and even, and yeah, I'm not going to leave out uh, to these communities who know some of these dirtbags are, we're protecting them for whatever reason. You're in this too. All right. Um, but basically, as I said, is that they um, they know it said the bread is buttered, but again, it's just a lot of it has to be, they have to do with that pecking order of importance. But as I said, a lot, what needs to also happen is that there needs to be a punishment mechanism for child, child those who abuse children. Like, they need to, you need to put the fear of God into these people. You need to track them down, identify them, and and like I said, throw the hammer at them, all right? And when a lot of these monsters know that they're going to get dealt with accordingly, a lot of it is going to go down in time because they're not going to have some idiot system, user system, or some low lives in these communities that are going to protect them when they don't have any of these people protecting them anymore and, they, and they're dealt with. Then, yeah, then then that's going to help things in the long run. I mean, and also, I mean, also, I mean, and like I said, because again, what's bold at these criminals, not even just the monsters who are children, is because they don't fear the law, because the law to them is a joke. I mean, unless you have a um, community who go and get, who will deliver jungle justice if they're caught in the act, I mean, which is the, basically a, cam, a direct form of punishment mechanism, even though it's not enough. They, um, all right. But I just, um, not to lose my track of thought, but basically it comes out to this. I think this is what Blaine should say, because there's nothing in here about punishing those who hurt these, those who abuse or hurt children. And I'm not knocking Betty and Blaine, I mean, she's right on what she's saying, but one thing needs to be addressed by people who are serious, there needs to be punished. Talk about what punishment these people are going to get. So, that's pretty much it. This will go on stage to Jamaican Caribbean. Check them out on the YouTube page. Pages, Miles Goodson Farron and Miles Jeff Productions. All right.